Hey guys, so I'm just going to show you a really easy makeup tutorial for a bright fuchsia lip. This is perfect for summer and I hope that you guys will try it and that you enjoy it. So I'm just going to start out by using Estee Lauder's Invisible Fluid Foundation and so I'm going to start off by just shaking the bottle and yes, this is a sample size um, and you just want to shake it because it helps the air get into it and it works better that way. And this is in the color N1, which I'm pretty sure is the whitest shade. And I'm really only putting it in the areas that I need it, which are um, on my cheeks because I get redness there and on my nose. I really don't apply foundation to my forehead very often because um, I don't really like the way that looks. Um, so I just kind of apply it where I need it because it blends really well so you don't have to worry about getting like lines from where you don't have makeup or where you do it really does blend into the skin really well and looks natural so that is another good thing about that foundation after I've applied foundation to even out my skin I'm going to use the Garnier Fructis eye roller just put a little bit under there and smooth it in with the ring finger Okay, now um, the eyes I want to keep really simple and neutral because the lipstick is really bright. So uh, you don't want to have really bright eyes and a really bright lip. Um, I think that can be a little bit overpowering. So I'm going to start by using the Maybelline Eye Studio Cream Shadows. And I'm just going to use the lightest shade and apply that to the lid. And this just really helps to um, even out the skin on the eyes, cover up any darkness or redness. And then I'm just going to use the middle color to kind of put in the crease just to add some definition. Then I'm going to use just a little bit of this CoverGirl eyeshadow and it's the Eye Enhancers, let's see, and it's the color 750 Mink and it's just this really pretty um, sort of brownish taupe color but it has some shimmer to it and just going to put that along the lid and into the crease and as you can see this isn't a dramatic eye look at all you just want to add definition so that's super easy takes like two minutes and then I'm gonna use my Revlon eyelash curlers and just curl my lashes to add a little bit of lift and then I'm going to use Great Lash by Maybelline and this is the Lots of Lashes formula and all the products that I'm using apart from the Estee Lauder foundation you can find in a drugstore so um, that's really good because this look will be affordable for you. It doesn't have a lot of high-end products, but they are good quality products. And this is in the blackest black color as well. And I'm just going to pull the outer lashes a little bit to create a more winged effect to open the eye up a little bit more since we're not using liner or tons of shadow and then I'm just gonna pop a little bit onto the lower lash line and that's it for the eyes
Now we're going to move on to the blush. And I've decided to use the Maybelline Dream Mousse blush and this is in the color 20 Peach Satin. And this does have a lot of shimmer to it um, in the pot but once you put it on the skin it's not it doesn't really look like this at all so don't be afraid if you do decide to use this one. So I'm just putting a little bit on my finger and then pushing it underneath my cheekbones and blending it out. And this color is um, really good for fair skin people like myself because um, oftentimes you can find um, that a lot of blushes are just too overpowering if they are like a pink color on your skin it just looks like a clown basically so I really like this color because it is a very subtle blush it isn't quite as bright as maybe the CoverGirl um, CoverGirl and Olay one that I've used in other videos so this is a little bit more of a soft alternative to that one okay now for the fun part this is the lipstick and it is Fifth Avenue Fuchsia it's number 160 from the Maybelline New York collection so my tip for you is if you're not going to use a lip liner which I'm not because um, I don't have one that matches this color to be incredibly careful when you do this because it will get all over you <laughs> if you aren't careful so I just start in the center and use the tip of the lipstick to sort of line it out and then I only have it in the center really I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger And what that does is it just helps the color to not be quite as, um, I don't want to say vibrant because you want your lips to be a vibrant color in this look, but it just helps it not be so overpowering. And also, um, I do find that this lipstick, as wonderful as it is, does smudge a lot. So if you put a lot of it on, you're going to risk it kind of smudging off onto your face. And nobody wants that. Um, that would look a little silly. So um, you just smudge it in with your finger. And then if that's not quite how you want it, you can add a little bit more. Okay. And that is the finished look and as you can see that took like no time so uh, that's really good and it's a really bright pretty look and it's it really does look I think very polished and instead of doing like the traditional just pink lip it's just a lot more fun and I think it would be great for you know summer parties or uh, when you want to get dressed up and you want to do something a little bit more fun with your makeup if maybe you do just something really natural all the time I think this is a really fun alternative of this so thanks for watching bye